Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Jacob Dive. Today's topic is Echo Mimic V2 for Digital Human AI Avatar. So this is very similar to HM but it's open sourced. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build it for free. So no string attached. Let's get started. So this is how it works. So let's take a look at how this works. So first you have to upload your uh, photo, whatever photo. So they provide a lot of photos. You can just click one of them. So you also you can upload your own photo or and you also have to do a uh, audio input. So basically this is a sample audio and sample video. So let's hear out how the audio sounds. So this is how the audio sounds, right? So this is uh, the synthesized uh, version of it. So let's hear it out. This is awesome, like perfect sound, perfect image, perfect video. So uh, very cool, right? So um, so if you go to their uh, hugging face, you can see that um, So there's a lot of samples here. Just go to the uh, bad to best uh, Echo Mimic V2. You should be able to check them out. Uh, if you look at the files and versions, those are the models. So basically, in this hugging phase report, they only provide uh, models. And for the model card, uh, you can go through the model card. But I think the one on hugging phase is a little bit outdated um, from the GitHub. The GitHub is uh, better, I think, if you go back to GitHub. So you can search for the same thing. It's from Ant Group, which used to be part of the Alibaba, but I think now they're not. Uh, just Ant Group as the organization. So go to the Echo Mimic. So that's the repo. So they upgraded recently for the uh, V2 version. Uh, so you can see that uh, there's a lot of examples here. So to set it up, um, you basically can go through this document. But again, I can do this on Kaggle, the easiest way to do it. So uh, let's go to Kaggle. So first we'll create a notebook and basically we'll have to switch the uh, uh, directory from the working directory to temp directory. And if you look at the files that have been downloaded, including models and other dependencies, it's over 40 gigs. So it's pretty big, right? And the CPU actually can use uh, 14 gigs of GPU. So you don't have to quantize it. So the default is actually good enough to run on Kaggle. You can have the uh, quantized version to 8-bit but uh, the default 16 gigs of Kaggle should work with the uh, default version of the Echo Mimi V2 so which is great you don't have to quantize anything and so next after you download the GitHub repo just do a Linux setup so they I think they miss it in the hugging bit but if you go to the uh, GitHub repo uh, there's auto setup there's a manual setup so you can uh, pick the auto setup, which is easier. So, uh, so, so live different uh, from the readme um, than the one that we actually set up on Kaggle because you don't have to set up all this kind of environment. Kaggle already provides that. Um, you don't have to set all that because um, I think in the automation script, which is the uh, Linux the setup, they already provide everything. So just run the script, you auto set up everything instead of go through the uh, manual setup. So. Uh, I think they added in somewhere in here. So let's search for it. So Linux. It, uh, I think maybe, oh, the, actually, I think that's the version would be V2 version. So let's go to the, uh, this is the V1, by the way. So you can search the V2 version. I think that's one that's very popular. Go to the V2 version. Uh, you should be able to see that. So the readme you should have a yeah readme should have a linux setup script so so the uh the original uh, hugging face model they don't have it but in the github they do provide that so just keep that in mind uh, you can check them out so how this works basically it's kind of the same thing with the manual installation but they wrap it up which is great um after you set it up it takes about 10 to 15 minutes then you have to basically turn on everything out so again we have to create a function to run bash command within python and then set up ungrok here all the ungrok we talked about many times just map the uh, port to 7860 so basically this is the gradle port so you can see that 5096 this is the one that we just saw 5096 so uh so basically uh, mapping to the local host 7860 
then we have to do a little bit of change um, because it's Kago Conda, so you have to map the LD library path. So make sure that you include this path. So NVIDIA NVGIT link slash leap. So you have to include that or it will not work. So just make sure that uh, the this environment variable include this path. So I just verify that by printing it. After that, just go to the uh, Citro, the echo mimic v2. Go to the Python app.py. So that's it. So this is how easy to can set it up. So after you set everything up, just go to this um, page. You can just click one of the samples or you upload your own image and audio to try it out. And it will take probably an hour and a half, almost an hour and a half to run each of these on Kaggle. So which is very slow, but uh, it works. So you can actually see everything works. When once the a video completed, it will save to a folder, output folder, um, and you can try them out by running the uh, either doing the gradle or you can just run local as a notebook video. So if you run this, you'll set up a uh, basically a display for the video display. Either way should work. So uh, that that's it. Uh, but you do keep in mind that this is a very slow process. Uh, even you use uh, the quantization a bit. So. Hopefully this is helpful and if you feel this is helpful and this is interesting, uh, please subscribe, like or comment if you have any questions. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, see you in the next one.